Welcome to the journey. Today we're gonna to go over how to get great photos for your website and social media. All right, so as we often start these episodes, let's talk about why it's important to get great photos for your website and social media. Absolutely, so for one, you can control your brand and bring it to life. Take photos of the outside of the business, inside of the business, yep. the staff, you the owner, and in addition, my favorite, it'll help you with SEO, search engine optimization. All right, Emma, give us some general tips if we were to take our own photos for our business. Awesome, so lighting is key. The sun is your friend. Try to avoid artificial lighting. Or staring directly into the sun. Yeah, never do that. And think about composition. You know, are you focusing on a product of yours? Then don't have the background be in focus. Focus on the product at hand. I know for food photography, you wanna have a light background. Also, it's good to get overhead. So stand on a stool, but be careful. Don't fall. <laughs> Other things to consider, high resolution. Also, shareability. Yes. And in addition to back to lighting and composition, really focus on does this look natural? You don't want to look artificial, especially. Forced and yeah, or if I go to buy your product or go and get my hair done at your salon, I want to have an expectation that's realistic. Otherwise, you're messing with the customer experience. Right. So one thing I like to bring up, don't be afraid to use your own phone. You can get a lot of high quality photos that way. I know we do a ton on the back end for copy and kick clips that way. Yep. All right, now you wanna think about how can I optimize these photos for search? Right. And there's a couple ways to do that. You can think about a image site map that you would want to help when you put on your website to get found. Also keywords, so yep. it comes up when people are searching, um, yeah. text. And with your images, there are things called alt tags. It's what Ooh. Google can see. Google can't actually see images, but it can see text. So those descriptions, those keywords go right in the alt tags. And then on your social media profiles, right? You wanna make sure those keywords are there too. Those hashtags, super relevant, super yeah. important. And user generated content, help you to get found in front of your customers' friends and their friends and their friends. Also another thing, I saw this with Sports Authority. They okay. had this hashtag and it was my football team. And it was a really effective way for them to get more content and authentic real right. life content. That user generated. Yeah, user generated from football teams all across the country and kids playing of all ages and obviously mm -hmm. sports authority makes sense with that and that right. was a really excellent way so get yourself a hashtag for your local business and encourage your customers to use it also include it on your posts so you get some exposure with it and it'll pick up a little right. domino effect and that user generated content will be great to help your photos get more exposure yeah all right that's a wrap you just learned how to take great photos for your website and social media and hey, like this video if you got some value out of it. Add your favorite comment below of whatever you've learned in this episode. And hey, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you get these episodes first. This is The Journey. We'll see you next time.